This is a mechanical Yule tip that I first saw on a video by Lead Motor. I decided to replicate it and it works great. The Yule tip is a circuit that uses the self-inductance of an inductor to raise the voltage of a battery. This green LED needs a minimum of 1.9 volts to work. The battery is 1.5 volts. The traditional Yule tip uses the oscillation from a transistor to do the commutation of the inductor and raise the voltage. Here the commutation is done mechanically. Let me show you. I'm going to take off this piece of paper in order to make contact and we can see how the LED glows. There is no transistor in this circuit. Let me explain the theory and after that the detailed construction of this little circuit. The circuit is composed of a battery, an inductor, an LED, a coil and a neodymium magnet. This section is free to move up and down. The current flows through the circuit and a magnetic field is created around the inductor. The coil becomes an electromagnet and is attracted by the neodymium magnet. The coil moves down and the circuit opens. At this point, the magnetic field of the inductor collapses, creating a voltage large enough to light up the LED. Since there is no current flowing, the coil is no longer an electromagnet and it moves up, closing the circuit and the cycle repeats. Here we have an LED and a AA battery, 1.5 volts. The LED needs at least 1.9 volts to work, so if we connect, let me put positive and negative, the LED will not glow. The voltage is not enough for the LED. But now let me connect to an inductor. Here we have the LED connected to this little inductor. And now I'm going to connect again and let's see what happens. We can see how the LED glows only at the moment when we connect and disconnect the battery. If we left connected, the LED does not work. It's only when we do the commutation that the LED glows. And this is because the self-inductance of this inductor that raises the voltage of the battery. Ok, let me show you how the circuit is boiled. We have a AA battery and an inductor with the LED connected to its terminals and we have here the contact and a neodymium magnet that is inside this little coil that has four turns. This coil can move in the vertical, you see, when it moves the contact here can make the circuit connected and disconnected. Every time this happens the LED lights up because of the voltage amplification of the inductor. This coil becomes an electromagnet when energized and is attracted by the magnet that is inside. You have to put the magnet with the correct polarity in order for this coil to be attracted instead of repelled. This little inductor is not critical, you can use almost any inductor. In this case, I took the inductor from the circuit of a lamp like this. These lamps have a circuit that has a little inductor that you can use for this circuit. Here I have the oscilloscope connected to the LED terminals to see what voltage is going into it. Let me pause the image to see what's happening.
okay we have here the baseline of 1.5 volts of the battery and each division corresponds to one volt so we can see that when the inductor is connected the voltage goes up about 1.5 volts and the inductor is then disconnected and the voltage goes down another 3 volts and this variation in voltage is enough to light up the LED. The frequency is around 500 hertz.